here we are in the uh, green room backstage at the old fire station with Sober Sun. Welcome. Welcome Hello. to Hello. Viral. Hello. We're all a little nervous, I think it's fair to say. So I thought I'd start off with some icebreakers. Your band, what are the influences? You know, what do you sound like for people who've not ever heard you before? Um, there's quite a, quite a bit of a mix from rock to reggae to a bit of soul guitar playing, uh, everything really. Everyone brings something to the table. Um, but for me, I would have Stevie Wonder as a main influence. Uh, Nirvana and Bob Marley would be my three main influences. That figures. I, I've seen Sober Sun a few times and I've just found them really, really listenable. It's, it is. It's like your influence. You, it's listening to lots of bands that I really like. Yeah. But very original. Yeah. Um, so other influences, yeah. Out of influence, a lot of um, a lot of funk and rock. Modest Finest at the time, which was one of my favorite bands. Bowie in his uh, in his Berlin trilogy period. Um, the Tubes, one of my favorite bands. Steely Dan. There are too many bands to to call up. You could argue every band you've ever listened to is an influence in a way. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, 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 totally. Is. But I suppose yeah. the ones you've listened to the most, yeah. So I think it's like a certain time in my life of being a teenager. I guess was I really got into listening to a lot of music, and the three those were the three bands I really just used to lie there and yeah. listen to, and just go off into a different world. Oh, yeah. lovely, Nat. What sent you off into that different world? Well, I think you know, I mean. Obviously got very eclectic sort of music tastes, but you know bands like Can, um, just because there's sort of a wide range of music and sort of influences within that. And you know I'm just constantly buying music anyway. So recently, Fila Kuti, um, again Steely Dan. I kind of listen to everything, and I guess that kind of comes out in the way that I play. Um, is yeah. that consciously, do you think, Jan, do you think that's consciously that your influences come out in your playing? I notice it in your playing. Uh, in, a way, it's, in a way, it it might be, but it's, it also grows. It's the way how you learn playing. It's the records that you play with. When I started playing, I played with the records. So and, and, and so self-taught, the same. Self-taught, I didn't get any lessons and then... I never tried to make music like this or like that, but it happens to be that in this outfit with those two guys, it just happens to to work. It happens to work out. Nat and I talk about music a lot. We share links to music and uh, we listen to a lot of the same stuff and that comes out in our music. Yeah, you do play yeah. very comfortably together. I, I, I'd like to say that. And um... It's taken a lot of practice, I think. It didn't. It wasn't always. Although no. we had a certain, we we gelled well together when we first met. But obviously we've worked at it, and then it takes a certain amount of time before you really get to know each other's sort of playing. And it does. I mean, I think we've been jamming quite a bit in sort of rehearsals, and that's brought us closer together as a band. Um, obviously, sort of when ja Jan um, joined, you know, because we'd played in a project previously. I think at that point things started to. Uh, really gel, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, there wasn't any sort of, we're not really looking for, it's not an ego trip, we're just, we all love playing music and I guess that's why it's ended up the way it has. Because I've been in bands with younger people and then it was all, oh, let's get famous and, you know, that, that attitude towards it. And I, I've never really been like that. I've just wanted to play as well as we can. and. You do write the songs, don't you, Sonny? I do write the songs, You yeah. are the main songwriter <laughs> am, yeah. and lyricist. Yeah. Yeah. I am, yeah. And it, it works, doesn't it? You have got a team. You write the songs. And yeah, yeah. I, well, I'll, I'll, I'm constantly just noodling on the guitar at home and then I'll come up with something, start humming a melody and then I'll bring it to a practice and we'll jam it at the end. We'll sort of run through a set and then we'll jam a load of new material or stuff that I've written on the night, we might come up with something then. And That's, yeah, great, really creative and enjoyable practices by the yeah, sounds of things. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. the best way, really. 
So how many songs do you think you've got? I mean, how long have you been playing for? <laughs> yeah, let's get to the history. Tell me more. When did it start? The band, or for me, the songwriting. Sober Sun. Um, uh, when I was a teenager, because I, I was self-taught, I'd always just be, that's how I'd learn, is by teaching myself something that I couldn't really play, that I'd made up, but I heard how I wanted it to be, so I'd just practice until I got it. And then obviously it evolved and then melodies came to the chords. Um, and then I was sort of going through it a bit, drinking, getting wasted all the time, and decided to get out of it and go down to Cornwall. Lived in a little touring caravan and started writing songs then. I've got an image in my mind of this caravan on the edge of a cliff, storm beaten as he went Yeah, that's, that's the new artwork that will be coming up, I think. Yeah. yeah. But that's, no, that's intense. And how you, you sat there and wrote songs. It just sort of, well, yeah, I, it came out really. I, I was just, ended up going for a walk, fishing off the rocks. I took a fishing rod with me and then just sort of listening to my um, little guitar recordings on my phone. And then the melody came along and then I just it sort of evolved from that and I got one, wrote one song and then it just, I couldn't stop then. Got into a little sort of system with it and yeah, I haven't stopped. No. So lucky you, Nat, and then your friend comes up with, oh, I've got, I've got a whole, I've got an album ready. Do you want a drum on it? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess I didn't know Sonny. I was invited into the project um, by the bass player who was playing with him at the time and... Yeah, it was a big break for me because, you know, I've historically sort of played in punk bands and this had a lot more space. Um, you have to maybe sort of carefully consider what you're playing a little bit more and be sort of courteous towards the actual songs themselves rather than kind of overplay on them. Um, so, yeah, it's been a kind of really enjoyable kind of process. And, you know, here we are now and, you know, we've got, you know, great chemistry, I'd say, between us all and... It just feels quite natural. Yeah. And, you know, obviously we're very fortunate that you are a very gifted songwriter and, you know, we've got a great bank of songs which Sonny obviously wrote in his caravan and continues to write. So. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's more. Yeah, they keep coming out, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, you know. It's, yeah. It's, he's a fountain. Relentless stream. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about the space that you get playing in a band with a three-piece. I think you've both mentioned space. That Perhaps there's, that's what makes it so easy not easy, I'm not arguing that it's easy, but that it's so comfortable, perhaps, or without the egos. Probably, yes. I mean, I'm quite happy to be able to concentrate on the bass, fully concentrate on the bass and the bass parts, and, and no one is competing on, in that area, and Ned can do his percussion side, and Sonny does the, the melodies and the harmonies. I'm getting really, really excited about your, your show tonight. So I'm, are we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you've done a sound check, it's all... We've done a sound check, it's absolutely fantastic here. It's, uh, it's a great place to be. It is. It's funny yeah. you were talking about playing in punk bands and, and the overplay. There's quite a lot of noise at a live gig, isn't there? And uh, tonight it's going to be just you. Nervous? Always a bit before. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I think as soon as we start playing, though, and we kind of end up, you know, gelling together quite quickly, and you know, the nerves just go away. And the interview that we're nervous about in the middle. Yeah. Oh, yeah so I, I've <laughs> utterly <laughs> failed to relax you, but thanks ever so much for talking <laughs> to me and allowing me into your backstage room. Um, yeah. <gasps> Sober Sun coming up soon. <laughs> <laughs>